Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel y'all. So good to have you guys here. Yes, we are here for another pick a card, you guys. I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick energy update, okay? Um, I wanted to do, I don't know, you guys, I've been really guided uh, to do these uh, pick a card based off of how are they feeling right now. So we're going to go ahead and do um, a pick a card and an energy update on their feelings. The next pick a card, you guys, I am going to go ahead and focus on manifestation of new love. We're going to talk about the healing and all that good stuff. Okay, so stay tuned for that. I still have Libra to check in with in terms of zodiacs, and I'm really excited to uh, go ahead and deliver. So I have a new deck for us today as well. I'm very excited. This is a brand new The Rider Waite Dar uh, Tarot deck, but it's colored pink and I love it. I love the color pink, you guys. So yes, I am excited to be here and I do want to go ahead and say thank you so much for all of my loves, all of you guys for sharing such a wonderful message, for being so kind, um, expressing how much you enjoy my videos. It means so much to me. And also, uh, Rhoda, I want to give a big shout out to Rhoda. Thank you so much for my recent, recent indie deck, which is the Flower Plant Medicine. And I can't wait to share that with you guys. I am so excited to do this. Oh my gosh, Rhoda, you have made my year. Thank you, my love. Thank you so much. So many blessings to you. Always praying for you. Um, and I can't wait to showcase it. Really excited. So with that being said, um, everyone else who has donated, Tony Williams, I have been, you know, I definitely been seeing your notifications for that cash app. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. I'm just so grateful, you guys. And I'm so thankful that all of you guys have taken the time to think about me. Um, and everyone else who has donated as well. Um, I'll definitely make sure um, in terms of the cash app to bring up a, a list here. Okay, so I want to go ahead again, Shantae King, thank you so much for your donation and your gift. Yay! I really appreciate it. Vanessa, thank you so much for gifting me. Um, gifting me a beautiful, beautiful gift. Uh, Nicole Koch, I hope I said your, your last name right. Thank you so much for gifting me a little something. Um, also, Akshu, thank you for being so wonderful. I appreciate you for your gifts. And um, mm, I think there was someone else, but I'm not too sure. Jasmine, thank you so, so much, you guys. Uh, and Indira, thank you for your note. Seriously, I'm so glad I am speaking to your soul. That means so much to me. I am so grateful. Seriously, everything everything I, I read in your notes, it, it, you guys, you guys move me. Seriously, you move me. I am so excited. So we have Shabhara. Pasheen, thank you, thank you, my love, thank you. Okay, I am so excited, you guys. Okay, for those of you who are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when my videos are uploaded. Also, um, check out my Instagram. I do have testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings. I have a bunch of cool stuff on there, you guys. And... Um, I do have a Reiki healing giveaway session. I want you guys to be a part of it. Please be a part of it. I've also taken on a few clients for Reiki healing on Sundays. I'm not super, super active on it yet, okay? Personally, I'm just trying to make sure I hold space for my healing as well. So I want to make sure I am balanced, okay? And also... Um, uh, what else? Yes. If you guys are feeling generous and would like to donate to the channel, I do have all my links below. I have my cash app. I have my PayPal. I have my Indie Deck wishlist and I have my Amazon wishlist. Okay. So yes, let's do it and be a part of it. If you guys are curious about what kind of reader I am, I do have a little uh, bio description of my style of reading down below. Okay. <laughs> Just a little sip. Okay. So let's move on into the deck choices, you guys. Okay. We're going to see a little energy update on your person. See how they are feeling. Okay. 
Okay, so you guys, thank you again, pile one. We're going to go ahead and choose. This is the Star Seeker Tarot gifted to me by my, my very lovely subscriber and client um, of a while now, about a year. Ariel, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Pile two, Nosotras Tarot. Pile three, this perfect amazing brand new indie deck that I love the Rider weight with the yellow box and pile four is the muse tarot so yes let's get into it you guys think about your relationship think about your person no contact or minimal contact and let's see what is going on in their world shall we okay yes okay if you need more time you guys please pause the video <clears throat> Okay, let's go ahead and see what is going on for my pile ones. Let's go ahead and see. I am using the, um, for those of you who want to know, the color of Mage Oracle. Okay, I love it. It's great for those of you who, if you're looking to get into your clairvoyance, it's amazing for visualization. Okay, so let's see. Hmm, what is going on with your connection, you guys? Pile one. Okay, so I am getting a lot of movement around the water. So rivers, oceans, seas. Okay, there's a lot of movement here. So what I feel for you guys, there is a lot of emotions. So you know what saying comes to mind, still waters run deep. Maybe there's been a lot of water under the bridge. Maybe you guys are water signs. There is a heavy Neptunian energy here though, okay? I'm getting a lot of... Um, romance. I'm getting a lot of, uh, you know, very, very in tune with this idealistic energy. And here we have firefly illumination. Okay. So there's an intensity here. I'm hearing electricity. My aunt, excuse me, my angels, my guides are saying electricity. So there's something that's incredibly um, intense here. Okay. Something happened within this connection that really, uh, it sparked or was a catalyst to an awakening. Okay. This is about your spiritual awakening. I'm also hearing my guides say Uranus. So there is something very non-traditional about this connection or both of you guys are stepping into a connection that is very much about, um, shifting the collective. Um, there's such a deep purpose here. You guys are both very different and it's like in my vision, you're showing each other the world and both of you guys come from different um, maybe regions or, you know, you come from different places and so there's a lot of energy here around wanting to show each other different styles okay maybe a different approach to love maybe a different approach to you know religion or culture so there's definitely something illuminating here with the illumination and the firefly we think about a beautiful beautiful um you know, it's like it, there's a glow within your connection. There's something like glowing. There's something very special. I am hearing my guides say Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who is incredibly um, introspective during this time. They're really focused on their dreams, but I'm getting that they have been closely um, studying you. There's something about the dark, you guys. Your beloved is really in a very dark place, but it almost feels like they're trying to find their illumination about this connection in the dark, okay? We have open, excuse me, we have gentle love in reverse, so heart chakra blockages, okay? And I'm getting that your person, you know, they've been it's like they purposely put themselves through a journey right now, or whether they know it or not, they have moved into a spiritual journey of finding themselves in this darkness, okay? This is about them trying to make sense of their most recent behaviors, or they're trying to make sense of your differences, of, of who you are, and, you know, all that good stuff. So we have overcoming adversity. Yes, this person is definitely in a place where they feel your connection is really, um, it's causing them a lot of anxiety. And I'm hearing my guide say for some of you, it's fear, fear of rejection, fear of not being good enough. Um, 
So kind of like a hard shell, your person, you guys, they are actually represented here by, um, by the turtle totem. So the spirit animal of the turtle. Wow, this is amazing. So we do have snuggle. We have, um, what is this? Natural touch and raise your vibration. Yep. Mm -hmm. This person is not accustomed to a very... Uh, deeply moving kind of connection. This person may be used to a lot of 3D energies. They're probably not used to the kind of love that actually moves your emotions, especially because I'm having a vision of this, this flow of water and it's really overwhelming them, you guys, okay? And I feel they've been doing a lot of dreaming about you. They've been thinking about you. They're feeling really, really roughed up about you. Um, <clears throat> And there's a level of not being sure. They're not sure. And some of them, their ego, I'm hearing their ego is wounded. So some of you guys may have said something to this person that kind of left this person um, licking their wounds a little bit. They're feeling a little bit abandoned. I'm hearing they're feeling abandoned. They've been doing a lot of, you know, this person has been doing a lot of sitting in the dark okay and they're trying to kind of figure out they're illuminating themselves through your heart okay they're using this heart space energy that you've gifted them and they're trying to figure themselves out within it so a lot of you have been dealing with a masculine who is non-responsive they have been no contact they have been distant they have been detached the turtle animal spirit totem for me is about someone who um, they, they go into their shell when they're, you know, when there's a threat or when they feel fear. Um, this is someone who moves very slow, slow and steady. Okay. But they're very, they retract when things aren't what they think they should be, or when things are not in alignment the way they, they think it should be. Okay. So we do have, um, forgiving and learning in reverse. There is some heavy, heavy, heavy fear and pain and also resentment. I don't know what happened here. Comment below. Let me know because this is intense. This is like some serious, like your person is waking up in the middle of the night, stressed out. They're worried. They don't know how they lost you. Um, for a lot of you guys, you know, I'm having a vision that you moved away on a boat or they, it's like I'm having this vision that you guys moved away on a ship or a boat. The feminine here, you have disconnected or you chose to kind of keep yourself on the periphery of this situation because of this person's behavior. But someone here is not forgiving, okay? Someone here is like, there's a desire for forgiveness. And you know what I'm seeing here, my loves? Check this out. I'm seeing the illumination aspect and also I'm seeing forgiveness. So this person right now, they are heavy, heavy in their heart. And you know, <laughs> okay, illumination. And look, the angels are all in your masculine's ear. Look at that. So this is also about their solar plexus chakra, you guys, like having the courage, having the bravery to come towards you to give you an, a serious offer or even just like a serious commitment. I, I don't know why I felt that, but I, I do feel there's something very wealthy about your connection. You guys have a legacy ahead of you. And I think this is what this person is fearing is the fact that you guys have such a deep bond that they don't know how to react to this. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who has some heavy poverty consciousness or abandonment um, challenges around the feminine feeling as if um, no one could ever love them you know this is not real yep some serious abandonment stuff maybe you guys are mirroring this together I don't know but we have gentle love in reverse maybe this person has never even had the ability to love someone from a place of real hearts You know, it's funny. I'm having a vision here that my feminines, you guys are like Eskimos. This is such a funny vision. I call it God's, <laughs> I call it God's humor. Seriously. Um, this is about the feminine here learning. It's like, you know, it's like, you, you know how to live in this ice cold environment. 
because some of you guys have been through so much in your environment and you still, even then, you still know how to rise above. And for some of you, you are teaching your masculine this because they see that you've been through a lot or some of you guys are just so used to just numbing yourself from this connection or from love. And for others, I hate to say it, this person was the catalyst to maybe closing your heart. Oh, my guides just said yes, which is not the best thing. But maybe this is something you had to do to protect yourself. OK, so there's definitely a distance here. This person does not want to stay disconnected for too much longer. Maybe there is a distance that is causing problems for you guys. It's keeping you guys disconnected. But this person really wants to come out of this no contact. I feel your masculine is very anxious. I am getting they've um, they have a fire going in this cave. It's dark. OK, they're trying to illuminate their own energy. They're trying to find their path to you, um, but they they. It's like they're very fearful of rejection. They're very fearful of you saying no, or they feel that they've messed this up so, so deeply that they don't really know how to come back from it, okay? If you did choose this deck, this is my Indigo Child deck. So you guys have some serious ancient wisdom, some serious past life energies here, whether you are karmics, whether you are soulmates, whether you are twins, you guys have some serious, serious energy here. Okay, so let's go ahead and find out what is happening. <clears throat> so how is your person feeling? So it's interesting because your person is actually, they, they see you, they want to get close to you. You're being illuminated by the light of God, the creator. Okay. You, you are moving through your own transformation. You're moving through this mermaid phase where you are allowing yourself to disconnect from your masculine and you prefer to be at sea. So maybe you told this person, maybe, you know, they're trying to bring you an offer to pull you back to shore. And a lot of you guys don't want to. You're okay with being different. You're okay with being at the shore. Where are your legs? Look at your legs over here, my feminines. It's a fin. <laughs> and what I'm seeing here is that your person is bringing an offer to you after they lost you. The mermaid here is far gone, honey. You have moved into your own your own world. You know, it, may, it makes me think of Atlantis. Maybe you guys have a strong connection to Atlantis. You are here and you are saying, I am loving my life. I am loving my, my swim. I am loving my fins. I don't want to be human anymore. I am here in my own galactic space. What do you have to offer me, masculine? <laughs> It better be good. <laughs> so, you know, your person is feeling um, there's a spark of, of gentleness, of kindness, of, of wanting to get you back in, you know. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of shyness around this person, you know. This person's very shy around you. Uh, maybe you saw a different version of them, okay. But both of you guys have a very um, intuitive approach to this connection. I am having a vision of a jaguar or a panther, and there's a lot of um, instinct, okay. There's a lot of instinct and strategy between you guys. So, yeah, I'm getting a lot of just curiosity. Your masculine is feeling very curious and they're counting. I'm hearing they're counting down the days, something about counting down the days. So they're feeling as if this connection with the wheel is faded. Something about you, they feel you are the one you that you you are the one who brought them into this recognition, into the light that that you guys are meant to be together on some form. It could be long term. It could be short term, but either way, they are feeling very, very, very in tune with your connection. And they know on some kind of level, you guys, they know that you are meant to be in their lives. They feel it. They do feel it. It's like they feel like they've it's like this this wheel of fortune with the, the spider webs, the wheel of fate right? Weaving, weaving destiny. We have the three of pentacles. Yeah. This person wants to collaborate what was broken. Okay. Maybe there are structures here between you. Um, 
and I'm getting a wave of sadness when I say that. So I think that this is a very sad breakup. You guys had a disconnection um, and this person doesn't feel good about breaking your heart. <clears throat> For some of you, this person feels as if they did you a disservice and right now they want to gift you something. They feel very connected to you. They want to work on something. They want to help you rebuild. Um, for others, some of you, they want to gift you a necklace and they're, they're getting everybody together to maybe help make this come true. Or they're, for some of you, they're saving up for something pretty big, like a ring, because this is why they're trying to, um, you know, bring something into fruition with you. So this is big, but this is someone who is very fearful. I do feel there's a lot of fear and that right now, no contact, limited contact, you guys, they are really trying to figure themselves out, you know, in the dark and they're trying to figure out what they feel, you know, they're trying to figure out, um, how to come back, you know, love you better, LL Cool J. Okay, so they are feeling with the Seven of Swords. They're, they're working behind the scenes, you guys. This person is definitely in a cave. Like, I had a vision of them being like this. Like, in this cave, to themselves, trying to figure out why they feel what they feel, you know? Some of you, this person is really into reptiles. I don't know why. I just saw a vision of reptiles. Like, maybe they like serpents. They like lizards or something like that or they're represented by by reptiles i'm not too sure here but that's what my guides are showing me uh so eight of pentacles in reverse so the seven of swords how are they feeling about you pal one five of wands in reverse um Okay, you guys. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this person is cracking me up. Okay. They are pretending they're pretending like they are not working on this with you because they they just don't want to fight anymore. Something about this connection really created a lot of inner conflict. I'm getting the numbers four here, 444. Four, four. So this is uh, divinely guided, okay? This is definitely divinely guided. They disconnected because they did not want to argue anymore. They did not want to go through um, maybe a karmic situation with you. They felt like something was... was um, constantly repeating itself and maybe both of you guys felt this and the divine there's literally you guys the intuitive energies from your angels are right here showing you this separation seriously the separation was divinely guided and they are so in their feelings about you this is what i love they're so in their feelings about you and they're hiding it. They're really hiding it, you guys. They, they're trying to pretend like they're not letting you in. They feel very, you know, maybe they feel very guarded. They feel like they can't show you who they really are, you know. But behind the scenes, literally behind the scenes, this person is absolutely in love with you. They see a family with you. They daydream about you, you guys. They really want this with you. Okay, they really do. Wow. So what is the transformation in this connection? So what's the future transformation? Is there going to be movement? Let's see. Pal one. Oh my gosh. You know what song is coming up? Um, this Puff Daddy song, Faith Evans. Wait, not the Puff Daddy. It's Faith Evans, Carl Thomas. I can't believe. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Comment below. Let me know. Okay, what's the future transformation of this connection, pal? And um, I know somebody knows what I'm talking about out there. Please tell me. Carl Thomas, Faith Evans. Okay. Okay, so you guys, this person is going to, in the future, with the Seven of Wands, look at that. They are going to defend your connection. Okay, if they have been lukewarm right now, if they have been, um, you know, lukewarm, not showing you how they really feel, they are going to make 
their feelings very, very present. They're going to come into your life and they're going to, it's, it's like a show. Whenever I see the six of wands, you guys, I think is somebody who's putting on a show for you. This is going to be an actual, like, I'm going to put it on social media. I'm going to propose to you in public. I'm going to come in with a huge offer, something that is going to move your emotions and I'm going to shock you. And this person is very determined to defend your relationship. Some of you guys, um, I feel this connection was separated because of religion or because of culture. There's something that really separated you guys through beliefs or values. This person, and, and it could be anything, you guys. It doesn't have to be that, but they are determined in the future to defend you and this connection and this love. And they're going to offer you a new, uh, excuse me, a new beginning. Okay. Wow. I'm hearing December, you guys. So December feels like there's going to be enormous movement for both of you. Oh my gosh. That was so powerful. Okay. Let's move on here. Okay. My loves, you ready? Let's do this. <laughs> okay, pile two. Let's see what's happening with my pile twos. How's this person feeling about you? Let's see, pile two. Okay, some of you guys, this person has actually been, um, they've been watching your social media at a distance. Um, I'm hearing they have been talking to you through a private account, or it's like a ghost account or something like that. Um, they're watching you and your daily life, okay? This person's very curious about how you're moving in life, what you're doing, okay? So there is a lot of checking up on you via um, technology, okay? Yes. So we have give it time in reverse. Yeah, so somebody here was disconnected because you were feeling incredibly, um, maybe you were feeling a bit um, like this wasn't moving. This connection was not moving for you, okay? Something about this was not moving. Maybe it felt stagnant. Maybe both of you guys had a different idea of what it means to connect, excuse me, what it means to be in a relationship, okay? So we have compassion in reverse. Wow, okay. So this connection was a bit stunted pretty early. I feel here the feminine, you were giving and giving and giving to your masculine and they were not giving in return, okay? They were definitely not giving the way they should have been giving. Charity and trust. The number three is very prominent here, you guys. Three, mind, body, spirit or soul okay find the cure you you're dealing with somebody who isn't okay within their heart space you guys i feel like you guys met this person at a time where they couldn't really give you too much okay they could not give you too much of themselves and i do feel that a big part of this was they you know they were reacting out of their pain okay a lot of them were really in a place of um, confusion. They didn't really know um, what they wanted. And for some of you, this person is struggling behind closed doors. For some of you, they are struggling with um, alcoholism or some kind of habit that is definitely creating a lot of problems here within this connection, okay? Because what I'm seeing is someone who hides, okay? Someone who hides their pain. Someone um, who is afraid to connect on a deeper level, okay? So let's go ahead and see. Hmm. Pile two. What's going on in this connection? Deception. Yeah, your person, you know, your angels 
and their guides are really trying to get them to release whatever false act they've been putting on in this connection because what I see Maybe they've been showing you that they're not interested in what I see is someone who has been actively checking on you. So it's not really adding up. You guys definitely disconnected because this person is not showing you that they care. So a lot of you were like, see ya. Well, if, if I'm not a factor in your life, then what am I doing here? Right? Right? Some of you guys just started something new or you will be starting something new. And I don't know why I'm getting a conflict around this. This person is very um, fearful about losing you right now. And so they're watching you from their window. I'm having a vision of them watching you from, from this window. And this almost feels like they're, they're trying to kind of keep tabs on you because they don't want to lose you, but they're in the dark. So they're really moving through a very dark time, like some shadow energy. Okay. And I do have, it's safe for you to love. So there's a lot of fear for them. Um, I am getting that you know, your, your beloved, they have a very scarred and tainted relationship with their mother. I'm getting a lot of pain with their mother. Okay, and this is really coming from their own projections, you guys. I'm also getting the number 999 and Jupiter. So we have higher learning, wisdom, okay? This, this connection, you guys, believe it or not, it is actually a catalyst for your spiritual awakening. It is a catalyst for your learning in general, okay? Wow. So let's see what's going on here. Pile two, I tell ya. How are they feeling about you? Okay, so I'm having a vision of these beautiful sunflowers growing, you guys. This person feels as if you have literally brought in so much life force. You have brought in confidence. You have brought in love, enlightenment. And it's like when they see you, they see this growing abundance, this confidence that they don't have in themselves. And they also see um, hope and, and future with you. But I will say right now, their mind is very dark. Something about their mind is very dark and they're very stunted in their ways. I am hearing that they're very stunted. Okay, so this person is really focused on maybe the lack Maybe they lost a job. Maybe they're coming out of something. But whatever it is, it really represents a loss to them. And you guys were affected by this because they could not, you know, I'm getting a lot of them maybe wanting to be possessive for some of you. They didn't want you to date. They didn't want you to look any other direction, but they also were not ready to commit to you. So you see how this, this just doesn't work out when it's, it's a double edged sword. It's like you, you can't win with this person. It felt like that. Okay. This person is constantly, you know, they do watch you. They do all these things that make you feel like they want to keep you, but then they turn around and push you away. I'm getting a lot of Gemini, you guys. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, okay? We do have the four of pentacles here. So yeah, this connection, I feel like they were not moving. Like they were so, it's like they were so, um, they wanted to just stay committed to their cause, to where they are. And this was not going to fly with you. A lot of you guys were investing a lot of your energy back here. You see that? Well, this person just kind of sat here like, okay, well, what are you going to bring to the table? And you're like, excuse me, I'm working so, so much for this connection. What? <laughs> I'm hearing the audacity. So, you know, to be honest with you, this person almost like, I feel like for some, they were a catalyst to new love. Maybe there's someone coming in very shortly, or this person um, moved through a transformation, okay? But what I see here is right now, the feminine, your guides, they helped you away from this connection for you to see that you actually have someone better coming in for now. If this is a divine masculine, you guys, this is someone who needs time. And they need time because, 
right now they are not they're in their shadow aspects of their twin flame energy okay they're moving through you know their their uh dark night okay so they're gonna need time this means that they have to figure this out because a big part of the the energy of the masculine really requires them to step up to the plate of a masculine and that means the shift is on the feminine where you are moving into your feminine space okay of of receiving love from a place it's almost like listen pile two your guides your angels are in your ears honey and they're saying you do not need to chase love and you sure as hell do not need to beg for it because you have someone coming in on their knees ready to give you something and it's going to be not just anything you just don't pick up what's on the shore yeah like you guys really feel this i, I can i feel so charged are you guys some fire signs out there i feel it feel it in my belly um it's like you understand now that you are the sunflower. This person was putting you on a pedestal, you guys, and I'm just getting a lot of fear of their shortcomings for whatever reason, whatever it is that they feel that they don't have enough of, okay? So there was a lot of dominance, power plays, my way or the highway. There was just a level of not wanting to see the potential, but I, I'll tell you this, your masculine is constantly, constantly looking at what you look like on social media, if you're dressed up, if you know, you look like you're moving on, or if you have something new, you know, in your environment, they're very curious about you. For others, they're actually talking to you through a private account, because they want, they, it's like they want to still talk to you, but they don't know how to talk to you. So let's see really quick their feelings. Wow. Who are you dealing with? This feels like a private eye, a private investigator, okay? So we have the three of pentacles. Yes, they want to work on this, you guys. We are dealing with some serious movement here. They do. You know, when I think about the three of pentacles, I think about somebody who is coming in with their toolbox ready. They're ready to help you, okay? And they're ready to add value into your life, which is most important out of everything. If someone is coming in hunty and they are not trying to add value into your life, no judgment. But what what what's the point, you know, of a relationship? Um, I want you know this is interesting because I feel guided to say this for the feminine. I want you guys to write down what it is that you really want in a partnership and don't limit yourself. You could be as unrealistic as you want, okay? But do a brainstorming um, activity. I don't know why I feel guided to say this, but something about a brainstorming activity of what you really look for in a husband, a partner, or whatever it is, okay? Because throughout writing this down, you're going to actually see, does this person fit the mold? Are they fitting your future? Because right now you are looking regal. You look fabulous. You are leveling yourself up. But this person, it's like there's a lot of um, I want things my way. And relationships aren't about one side, okay? The reality is that there's always some kind of duality within a connection. There's always some kind of compromise, just a little bit, okay? So how are they feeling? How's this person feeling about you? Okay, so you see this person is in their, you know, they're very much in this, this shadow, but they're very possessive. I'm getting two very possessive cards. When I see the devil and I see um, the strength, um, these are two very, uh, you know, they're, they're duality. We have shadow and light, okay? When I think of the lion, I think about um, the protectiveness of our energies. This person is very focused on keeping you dominated or in their power. They want to control the situation. They do want to possess you, but they also want to keep you at a distance because you terrify them or there's something, they just feel so overwhelmed when they're with you and they're very insecure and this is not your problem per se, right? This is their that your masculine is working through their stuff, okay? 
they do feel with the four of wands that you are worthy of marriage. You are, you know, someone who is prosperous. You bring a lot to the table. You are very secure. Maybe some of you guys have, you know, you own a house or you're going to be, um, moving into your own condo very soon. I don't know why I'm hearing a level up in terms of housing. And this person might know this about you. Maybe they see a future in terms of your your wealth. Like you guys are really moving up in this world. There's something about real estate here. So they can, they, it's like they see that you are uh, progressing pretty quickly or that you're really establishing um, some kind of status in your life. And this is really encouraging them to keep you feminine, okay? They, they really want to keep you. This person is very obsessed, but they are hiding in the, in the, you know, in the shadow. They're hiding in the dark, but they're, they've got their eye on you. I just want you to know they've, they've got their eye on you, okay? This, this is not something that, you know, is unknown here. How do they feel? You know what song's coming to mind for you is um, Since You've Been Gone by that uh, Puff Daddy group. Who are they, you guys? Since You've Been Gone and, and get me, You Got Me Going or something like that. It's a Puff Daddy group. Who is it? Comment below. Let's see. Hmm. Pile two. Let's see. How are they feeling? But that's how they feel right now. Like, since you've been gone. <laughs> There's too much pride here, you guys. There's too much pride on your person's side. So they do feel that you represent their legacy. You represent that, that uh, I don't know why I'm hearing maturing in them. That, you know, they want to grow old with you. They want to marry you. They want to put a ring on it. Okay? They really want to establish something secure with you. And they have not moved away from you. I know it might seem like this within where you are now, but they have been set up. They, they, I'm hearing they have this thing about watching what you wear, or maybe they look at your weight. They're very, I don't know. Are you guys dealing with a Virgo? Um, they're very like aesthetic driven, but also it's like they pay attention to your, your body because it's sick. It, it symbolizes something within them. So I don't know what that's all about. Let me know. Let me know if you know what that's all about. <clears throat> so let's see, what is the transformation within this connection? This is some serious stuff, you guys. Wow. This is incredible. I am having a vision of this, this complete shift of a globe of the world. Like it's almost like, you know, it almost looks like something is eclipsing right now. So I feel like the transformation really evolves the tables turning. If you guys were the ones originally really into this person, you were pursuing this person. Well, guess what? Tables will be turning, hunty. The reality is setting in. Okay. This person, yeah, they're not being honest about how they're spying on you. Some of you, this person is actively talking to you through a fake profile, number one, or they're spying on you from a fake profile, number two, or they have people watching you somehow, or they're constantly worried about what you're doing and they're not being real within their communication. They're not being authentic with you. Pile two. What is the transformation? And I also feel like you guys are going to start, um, it's like this person is going to realize that what they've been doing is they have been sabotaging this. And what I feel is something about the summertime. They met you in the summertime or something about the summer. They're having a hard time seeing their light, you guys. This is why they have been so resistant. But right now, the transformation, I'm having a vision that, you know, um, you know, God, the creator, the angels are really showing them the way by exposing them to the light, whether they want to or not. Because something about this is very faded and they're blocking their own fate. So eight of pentacles and the hierophant, they're going to want to work towards something. You guys with the hierophant, it's going to be very traditional. They're going to want to come in and ask you out on a date. It's going to be very traditional. They do not want to rush this. Okay. So there, it, it's going to be, I'm going to work at this uh, traditionally. Like I lost you, but can I take you out? Can we hang out? Can we talk? 
something about them wanting to, they're trying to dissect information and it's unfair. I feel like it's unfair because they're doing this in a way that is not honest, but they're trying because they feel left out in the cold and their pride is in the way. So you guys let me know. Wow. Okay. And I'm also hearing there's a lot of money on the line, you guys. I don't know why I felt guided to say that, but really quick before you guys go, they are very worried about legacy money. Maybe they have an inheritance or, you know, they have, they're very wealthy and you, maybe you don't know about this or you do, but they're worried about their money. Okay. Wow. Earth sign, earth sign alert. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. Okay, let's get a little sip here. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Pile. Pile three. See what's going on with my pile threes. Hmm. Pile three. How are they feeling about you? Hmm. Okay, so some of you guys have moved on like instant. Okay, the feminine here, you have moved on. And for some of you, this person has been watching you uh, date somebody else. You're seeing someone else or they're under the impression that you're dating someone else. And this could even be like social media flirting. They're watching and they are not okay. Something about white and blue, white and baby blue is very prominent here. For me, this could be... Um, divine communication. You know, white for me is about uh, your crown chakra activation. This is about your divine connection to the creator. And blues are about communication for me, serenity, wisdom, and peace. This person helped you level up when you guys disconnected. I have to admit, this feels as if you guys have been disconnected for quite some time. So if you are still here wondering how they're feeling, it's probably because you have a very uh, deep connection to them. And this, or maybe, you know, some of you guys, I feel like this person has been dreaming about you moving on. And these dreams, these psychic dreams are actually enabling them to start kind of coming towards you. But we do have abundance here. The feminine here, you look like a snack, honey. You are looking amazing. And I'm almost getting that this person has been watching you or they have been dreaming or they know that you're dating other people and this is literally killing them, okay? Something about this, it's like for some of you, they had a gift that they were going to gift you and they saw you with someone else. This person threw the, the gift in the trash. Cheerful love in reverse. I'm hearing I had to do what I had to do. The feminine here is not, is, is not playing. Like you, you leveled up. You stepped away from a connection that was parasitic. It feels one-sided. It feels like a lot of you guys kept calling a phone that was disconnected. So I'm getting a connection that was completely off balance. Someone here was not involved. We have ground thyself in reverse. I don't think this, this came, you know, I don't ever, you know, I don't think this uh, connection, you guys, was able to get off the ground. I'm getting a connection here where there was a lot of misunderstanding or miscommunication. Maybe you guys barely even talked to each other because you know, things felt so intense. Okay. We have mercy and forgiveness in reverse. So I do feel there is an energy here of, um, wow, this person has been watching you date or they know that you've moved on. They know that you're on to other people. Um, you know, they can feel the loss. 
they're not doing okay. You guys, some of you guys are drinking themselves out of sadness. So if you have been in no contact, the only thing stopping this person is their pride because I'm getting an Aries, Scorpio. A Capricorn. Someone here is the Capricorn or they have heavy uh, Capricorn in their chart, an earth sign. Wow. This person maybe had, they were the last time you talked to them or the last time you guys hung out, they were wearing a white and blue uh, button up. So something about this, they are visualizing coming towards you in this shirt. We have develop your destiny in reverse. We have sage in reverse wisdom. So I feel like both of you guys are kind of in a place where you are projecting a lot of your past with each other. There's a lot of, um, I'm going to move on because you're not giving me what I want. I can find someone else. You know, there's a lot of ego here. I want to say it feels egoic on their side, but it also feels egoic on this side. Okay. So some of you guys just had to do what you had to do, but I'm getting a black dress. Somebody here was wearing a black dress or you were wearing like a clutch purse, or you saw this person. It could be the other way around, you guys. Maybe you guys saw this person with someone else and you decided to disconnect, okay? What I'm getting is the masculine is hurt. They're very hurt, okay? Very hurt. We have unrequited love. So what was going on in this connection was that a lot of you guys disconnected when this person was just giving everybody else the time of day. Yep, new love. I'm telling you, and if you guys have not met new love yet, you guys are going to meet new love because you guys decided to say, I gotta go. If you're not gonna give me the time of day, and I'm almost getting that this person is gonna have to watch you move on with someone else. You deserve love. You're gonna move on to somebody who's actually gonna, like, I, you know, I don't want to say bow, but they're going to bow to you. Like they're going to honor you. And you're freeing yourself from negativity. You're freeing yourself from connections that kept you bound to like a one-sided kind of situation. Okay. So somebody here, I don't know you guys why I'm getting a vision of someone here wearing a, um, a button up. A blue and white button up. This is very significant. So something happened that night, okay, that really marked a major shift for both of you. This person has a gift in their hand for you. They're, they're going to gift you something or they want to gift you something, but they are terrified that you, you're with someone else and that someone else is taking care of you. And if that's not the case, this person literally pushed you into the arms of someone else someone new. So pile three. Wow. You guys, how are they feeling about you? So we have Leo, Sag, Aries, maybe someone a little bit younger with the Ace of Cups in reverse. They are, um, they're trying to focus on a player lifestyle right now because they're wounded. They're wounded because you're with someone else or you disconnected or they feel or they have dreamt up in their head that you've moved on. For some of you, this person saw you with someone else and this killed them. For others, they are in their head. Maybe they're living a very uh, fast lifestyle and they're in and out of people's lives. They're playerish with that unrequited love. You know, maybe this person just never really intended to commit. But let me tell you something. They are feeling this disconnection. But they're trying, what they're trying to do is they're trying to numb their feelings with this lifestyle, because what you did was you activated those emotions that they thought they didn't have anymore or that were never there. And a lot of you guys decided to, to, you know, get your Cupid's arrow elsewhere.
You know what I mean? You're like, okay, well, I'll give someone else my time. How are they feeling about you right now? Some of you guys, there's something about the East Coast. I'm getting East Coast, or this person lives in Southern California. Um, but either way, there's a lot of trying to control their emotions about this. There's a lot of ego and resentment about what you did. So I don't know what that's all about. Comment below. How are they feeling? Um, we have the chariot. So the, again, there's a lot of pride. Okay, there's a lot of pride. And look, they're wearing a lot of armor, you guys. This person is really um, determined, a lot of solar plexus energy. So for some of you, they are in the military or they have a position at work. Um, that's elite and they cannot separate from this identity this is like a police officer military uh, you know government and they have like two different lives I don't know why I'm hearing two different lives like on the weekends they're they're over here popping bottles and champagne not that there's anything abnormal about that um, and then you know they have this personality all the time because this person, you guys, they take work home with them. I don't know why I'm getting somebody who literally takes work home with them, okay? They are very um, determined in love, but they like to conquer love. They like to conquer, um, you know, something challenging. They like to be in their, in their power and, I don't know, too much ego. I don't know. I, listen, look at that. I just saw this. The yellows very prominent, the reds, root chakra, solar plexus, that I'm going to get what I want when I want. Expect communication from this person for the fact that you are no longer around. And if you are still around, the fact that you are no longer giving them the energy you were giving before, this is enough for them to, um, it's like they, they want to charge into your life. But be aware of their motives, you guys, because this person is kind of a play, like a playerish kind of energy. So how are they feeling? Oh my gosh, you guys. They're definitely in their head about you. They're very confused. First of all, some of you, you know, they have several options and you're one of them. For others, they have been dreaming about you. Um, they're definitely in this illusion about you being married or you have disconnected or they are under heavy, heavy assumption that you are dating someone else, that you no longer want them. And this is driving them nuts. It's driving them nuts. This person has some PTSD around life. You guys, they stay up at night and they write songs or lyrics or poetry. I don't know. They're, they're writing at night. I'm getting a lot of writing, a lot of restless energy, but the, the only thing, listen, they don't want to see themselves. It's like, there's no point in being all stressed out if they're not trying to see themselves because they're used to having their way. You're dealing with somebody. Look at this. You're dealing with somebody who has several feminine energies around them and they've never had, you know, a feminine say no. So this is brand new. Or maybe you just decided to say, well, I got so many different options. I don't need this. right? Okay, one more. And then you guys, this person is really arrogant. Oh my gosh. I, I'm so sorry to say it like that. They are, listen, you are a wish fulfillment to them, but for some of you, it's just, they want to conquer you. They want to conquer something. The Knight of Wands is someone who is incredibly um, youthful and they just want to come in and out for the sake of being in and out. They want to just be the ones to say, I did it. I won the bet or I, I won their heart and then that's it. They don't really have anything else behind it. Okay. So let's look at the transformation here for some of you. Okay. Take it as it resonates. Let's go ahead and see. Wow. You guys. <sighs> Mm -mm. For some, this person likes to wear a bandana on their head or they like bandanas or hats. Um, okay. So what's the transformation in love here? 
Mm -mm. I don't know why I'm getting a lot of like, uh, be careful energy. Yeah, they're going to come in, you guys, and they're going to try to resurrect the situation. This person, it's not over. Like, they're not done. They're, they're not done with this. Okay, they, they don't... Mm -mm. I don't know us. They don't they don't want it to go. They just don't want it to end. I don't know if this person is just addicted to adrenaline or what. But I'm getting somebody who is heavily addicted on just having you, but they're not sure why. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's the transformation? They're gonna come back in with some passionate communication or maybe some childish behavior, and they're gonna wait. Okay, they're going to come in with some communication here. They're going to wait it out. I feel like they're really trying to think about what it is they, you know, where do I want this to go? Because for some, they just react. It's like they see you gone and then boom, it's like a reaction that you're gone, but they don't really have a long-term plan right now. So mm, be aware of that. Okay, perfect. Ooh, all right. Let me know. Let me know if that resonated for you guys. Let's move on to pile four. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and see what is going on with my pile fours. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there is a lot of education involved, institutions involved, school. So maybe you guys are dealing with somebody who you are um, in school with or you were in school with. Um, this person, they are very studious. Okay, maybe you guys met each other when you guys were in school together, um, whether apart or together. There's a lot of studying happening here. You're dealing with somebody who's very focused. What's going on? Maybe you guys are learning a lot about each other and your path or your connection. So I'm getting a very um, focused energy, okay? You guys are dealing with somebody who's very focused in life right now. Some of you, this person is dealing with exams in terms of law, like a, a bar exam or something of that nature. But your connection is very invested in learning. So maybe you guys are incredibly different and this connection... It, it triggers you because of your differences. We have Regenerate Your Community, Pile 4. I'm also having a vision of an owl here. So there's a lot of hidden hidden energies. There's something that's hidden for you. We do have Saving Grace, Lighthouse, okay, in return. We have Native Spirit, mm-hmm, spiritual energies the spiritual empathy card here for me voice your muse is in reverse so there's an imbalanced level of communication both of you guys are on the same wavelength when it comes to wanting to learn about your life and where you come from um, you guys are very determined people, okay? I'm getting a level of wanting to do something big in life. Maybe you guys are in the same program, but either way, there's a level of, of looking at each other at a distance, and I feel like there's some saltiness here. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a lot of like, what they do, what did this person do? So... We have cheerful love, and then we have abundance. Stay committed. The masculine here, Capricorn energy, very well dressed, very pristine, um, very. Um, there's something about this person that's very straight edged. You guys, like, they're not the bad boy type. I don't. I'm not getting a bad boy type. I'm getting somebody who just has a very conflicted relationship with the feminine. So they don't really know. Okay, it's like they don't really know what they want. And I'm getting somebody who may have had like a passionate moment with you, or they had like a very passionate connection with you in the beginning, and. It's like they they felt fear about this. They felt fear about really liking you. And maybe they said something that they feel very um, ashamed about. 
For some of you, they said something that really made them embarrassed, okay? So we do have religious factors. Maybe there's a, you know, a, a, a huge age gap or a difference in culture, religion, belief system. So this kind of goes hand in hand with what I'm seeing in terms of the library or studying, you guys. I'm laughing because they must have said something really out of the ordinary. It was Atlantish. It was something crazy because I'm getting a lot of shame around something here. But since then, it almost feels like they've kind of straightened up. They, you know, they, they kind of disconnected in a weird way. Okay. So for a lot of you, there's an age difference here. For others, it's actually um, religion. Okay. We do have deception. So what's going on in this connection? For others, this person may have been married and, you know, they had a moment. But they won't look at you. Some of you guys, this person has a hard time looking at your eyes, new love, heart to heart conversation. Wow. So, uh, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm getting somebody who just tried to really pull a fast one on you. For, okay. I hate to say it like this, but wow. Let me know. For some of you, this person actually chose someone else. For some of you, this person, um, they thought that the grass was going to be greener on the other side, maybe because they have the same age or they um, have the same religion or they have the same cultural background, but they were under the impression that it was going to be better. I'm getting this was like a one night situation, whether it was text, whether it was in person and how are they feeling? And they were, they were not, they did not want to see their light with you. They did not want to see their light with you. So they disconnected. Seven of Cups. They're feeling very, 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 um, they're in, in their head about you. They're dreaming about you. This person does not show what they feel. And you're dealing with somebody who kind of had this, this epiphany after they had this one night with you that it wasn't going to work. Something about you, something about this was, was not going to work. It just wasn't. But ever since they disconnected from you, they have been um, thinking about you. There's an illumination here as you see the light. They feel they can't get over the past. Some of you, this is your soulmate. They, you know, you've triggered a lot of heavy trauma within this person because both of you guys are looking at each other and you're like, okay, there's a lot of like, I'm going to mirror how you're feeling about me too. Sag, somebody here has the Sag moon. Okay. There's some heavy immaturity here as well. Your person, they are not who they say they are. You guys, outwardly, they look very uh, put together and like super preppy and like they are something that they're not. And then when they get home, this person is nothing like who they say they are. Leo energy, strength in reverse. How are they feeling? You're dealing definitely with an Aries Leo Sag. The full Aries coming through. How are they feeling about you with the full card? Okay, so I don't like this, you guys. My my energy, like picking up on this, I have to just be very honest with you, my loves. Okay. Let's let's get that one-on-one -on -one chat right now. This person, they have several options and they are in their head about you. But what I'm seeing here very clear in my vision is they are watching you from a distance and they want to pretend like this never existed. They are pretending like this never existed. And that is that's bothering me about this vision because you guys may have had a night or you may have had a short fling, but I feel here the intensity. I'm also hearing my guide say Saturn. So you're learning. Maybe this is a karmic cycle or a karmic, okay? But either way, it could be a soulmate too, and you're learning a lot about yourself. But 
the feminine here, you gave a lot, like you gave a lot of your, your support when this person needed it. Outwardly, they try to pretend like they are all put together. But the reality here is what I'm seeing is that they were falling apart and you extended your light to this person, my loves, and they didn't want to receive it. So here they are caught up in, in their ego and their inner child. So you guys, this person is nowhere near ready for you. They don't have the strength. They don't have, it's like I'm getting a very young energy. This person is very young, you guys, or immature, or they have not dealt with their past yet. And you know what? They are very much in this playerish energy. And what they're feeling right now is they, you know, they're moving towards a new start. It's not that they don't feel you because when they get home at night, they do. They recognize their errors. But two things, their ego, but also regenerate their community. There's more than one person involved here. They feel like something about this would not work long term. So it's like they're feeling like they, they want, they don't want to carry this right now. They don't want to give in to this right now. They don't want to give energy to this right now because they are too busy thinking about all the other people that they can connect with. Or for some of you, you know, they're thinking about, um, they're, they're under heavy illusion. They're not really seeing you clear. This person doesn't know who you are. Like deep down, they don't really know who you are. They don't know what you're really about. And they've come up with some heavy judgments without even getting to know you. So this is kind of what I see here. I'm, I'm getting somebody who wants to be free and who's still living some kind of high life, okay? So let's see the transformation here. So what's the transformation within your connection? <clears throat> this could be a twin flame, you guys. Mm-hmm. Could be a twin flame. Let's see what is the transformation here. Wow. This person wants to give you a letter or they're going to text you or email you. Okay. I feel like they really want to come to peace with this. What's the transformation within this connection? The feminine here, you're learning how to stand in your power and you're learning how to appreciate yourself. And not just that, you're learning how to take an offer from somebody who sees you like a, a damn queen, okay? You are gonna really be in a place where you're gonna start accepting offers from people who are going to honor you. That is your transformation. This person has some issues around their, the feminine, the mother, which is affecting their relationships. And you are going to be learning a lot about your independence on how not to surrender your power from a place of insecurity, of needing to be validated, my love. So you guys are really learning. This is like, I'm hearing a learning experience. And I promise you after this, you are going to be leveled up. Okay. Yes. All right, my loves. Thanks so much. I hope that helped. Bye.